Welcome, Mel. I'm so great to have you here with me. How are you today? I'm very well indeed, Catherine. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's my pleasure. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story first. You have such an amazing career and uh, you were a Premier League ace and then you started working as a, a, a journalist and a, a sports agent. And I'm just amazed with, with your story, but I would like you to share a little bit first. Well, a little bit about my story. Um, mm -hmm. I achieved my... A kind of most boyhood's a boy's um, dreams really of uh, of playing playing football. If you were any good at football, or if you're good at music, you want to be on the stage. If you if you're good at acting, you want to be in a films. Uh, and I was good at football, so mm -hmm. but there was obviously lots of boys good at football. But mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. I was fortunate to um, to get into the pro professional game and mm -hmm. um at the age of 18 i signed professional forms for wolverhampton wanderers which is my hometown club mm -hmm. so um then at 21 i made my debut which is a little bit late if you think in, in terms of a lot of people but mm -hmm. it, it was it was all all good then in the next six years i played out over 200 games scored over 50 goals for wolves we mm -hmm. won the league cup at wembley in front of a hundred thousand people, played for uh, England on an England tour with Sir Bobby Robson, mm -hmm. and um, everything was going well. And at the age of twenty-seven, bang, mm -hmm. I ruptured my Achilles. Now twenty-seven is usually kind of the the height of a footballer's career, mm -hmm. and um, as you can see now with Lionel Messi and Re and um, Ronaldo. Cristiano mm -hmm. Ronaldo, they're going into the well into their thirties now. Mm -hmm. So twenty-seven, you don't expect to have a career-threatening injury, mm -hmm. which I did. And then um, I never then played at the top level again. I, out of the nine years I was at Wolves, seven years of those were at the top level, mm -hmm. and only the other two uh, times the club got promoted straight back into the Premier League. Mm -hmm. So um, it was virtually all a, um, at the top level. But um, I then carried on for three or four years, mm -hmm. even though I couldn't really get fully fit. So although you were injured, you continued to play, right? Even though I, I wasn't fully fit, mm -hmm. I still continued to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I then had to think, I had, then had to retire, which was forced on me because I couldn't get another contract. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I was about 31, 32. So probably a good few years, four or five years before I'd even think about that I would have had to retire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but that, fortunately, looking back now, fortunately, mm -hmm. um, that led me on a, uh, a path or a quest for to find out how we actually do work Mm -hmm. as human beings, how to, how to perform. Mm -hmm. Hence the fact that I am a, uh, now a performance specialist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with well over 30 odd years going all around the world to see how we function both physically, mm -hmm. mentally and emotionally mm -hmm. and, and probably uh, spiritually as well. So that all of the aspects that make us human beings come into play to to help us um, perform at whatever we're doing. So how do we actually, as, as humans in general, uh, uh, step into that high performance? How do, how do we make the success and what the success really is? You wrote a book, 3E, right? And you're talking about uh, energy, eating, and well, emotions, right? Yeah. What does the, that the, the have to do with the, with the success and the high performance? The three E's. This, this, this is the book that I wrote during the the worldwide lockdown mm -hmm. was um, just the basis of a talk that I used to give when I used to lecture in the football academies. Mm -hmm. So mainly the younger players, but it could be to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, where I'd, I'd I'd looked at how how to perform 
uh, well, anybody to perform, but mm-hmm. specifically sports sports people and footballers in particular. Mm-hmm. But um, the three E's were really how we exercise or move, mm-hmm. how we, because I'd seen a lot of footballers that were good footballers, but didn't move in, uh, could, their movement could be a lot better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'd work with, with some of the, or specifically one of the top movement and sprint coaches in mm-hmm. not only in this country but probably in the world mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. learned an awful lot so I know that exercise is very important or the way that we move is very important mm-hmm. what we eat or the mm-hmm. fuel that we put into the, our um, mm-hmm. our bodies um, our car case that we actually move around in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so uh, is very important and mm-hmm. then the third E um, was how we control our emotions mm-hmm. so it's emotional intelligence mm-hmm. not intellect IQ intellectual intelligence but EQ emotional mm-hmm. intelligence mm-hmm. so it's how we control our emotions so and if you can maximize uh, how you exercise or move what you eat and drink mm-hmm. and what you and as importantly what you don't eat Mm -hmm. and drink what you keep Mm -hmm. out of your body as well as you put in Mm -hmm. and then also how you um you control as much as you can or you're aware of the emotional state that you're in Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so actually um maximize that then gives you the fourth e which is energy Mm -hmm. so that's maximizing energy because we're all looking for more energy to do things Mm -hmm. so and, every, and the, all of the scientists agree that everything is energy, just vibrating at different frequencies or mm-hmm. levels. Mm-hmm. So, um, and to actually perform, we need to be in a, in a state of being in the zone, mm-hmm. in flow, mm-hmm. or, or, or it can also be termed present, mm-hmm. very present or aware. Mm-hmm. Um, and all uh, world records, um, amazing feats by people have all been achieved when that person mm-hmm. has been in, has been present, has been in flow, has been in the mm-hmm. zone. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you will ask people how they did it. I said, well, I don't know. I just did it. I didn't think about it. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. the big thing is if we have time to think about it sometimes, Mm-hmm. we don't actually perform as well as we should do. Mm-hmm. This is also fascinating for me because, uh, you know, uh, usually people are wired to just, you know, grab the success to go for it, but they usually fail because they are not even aware of these elements uh, of uh, being present in this moment of a high level of awareness of energy on anything and you as a former premier league ace you had a chance if i may say a chance because of the injury to look back and to look around and to actually uh, 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 get it like a conclusion what is the real deal about uh, achieving success is in any field of life, right? So how do we as humans actually can tap into that level of awareness or how we can actually, you know, uh, how people can get to know what is really, what, what it really takes to, to achieve success? Well, to achieve success, you've got to understand that success is an inside out job. Mm-hmm. I love, not an, that. I love not, that. Not an outside in job. We're, mm-hmm. we're all, everything is promoted to us. Mm-hmm. And in depending where we were, where we're brought up in the world, what our family situation was like, what the people around us, um, mm-hmm. what influences that we, we have, especially when we're young. Mm-hmm. Um, but the big thing is that we are what you would call biological computers. So mm-hmm. we are electromagnetic beings. Mm-hmm. The electro part usually is the plus is the brain, on which is just like a circuit mm-hmm. board computer, and the heart mm-hmm. is the magnetic part. Mm-hmm. So we 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 can uh, we magnetize stuff out from the heart and bring it in as well, mm-hmm. um, and 
once we if we can get and the way that we get in flow mm -hmm. or or present or in the zone is to is to sync up the brain and the heart because the, the heart and the brain are the two biggest oscillators in the body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's a bit like um, clocks mm -hmm. on the wall mm -hmm. if you start them off mm -hmm. um eventually they'll come into sync and they'll mm -hmm. all be doing the same thing but mm -hmm. if when when we are when we're any when we're frustrated when we're stressed when we are um, out of sync mm -hmm. then the brain and the heart aren't synced up and that's when we get stressed mm -hmm. that's when we don't perform mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's when um, the body emits um, cortisol and uh, mm -hmm. and stuff that in other words the stress hormones when we're actually in flow and we mm -hmm. synced up Mm -hmm. um, and this has all been measured and there's a, the Institute of Heart Math that many years ago did uh, who I mm -hmm. um, work with in, in this country um, with some of the top sports teams mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. football and uh, cricket mm -hmm. some of the internationals and um, that they could actually measure through heart rate variability when somebody was what you would call in flow or mm -hmm. in the zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and there was a measurement between the, the heart and the brain. And I think it was about 1.1 Hertz, but don't quote me on that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there it, it can, you can actually measure it on a computer, on a, on a, on a computer screen. Mm -hmm. um, so This is amazing to me. It's I'm all, just like... it's, it's all, yeah, it's all, it can all be very scientific. Mm -hmm. But the, the easiest thing, you don't have to actually measure stuff. Mm -hmm. you, can, um, you can do all this yourself. But the big thing is that success is an inside out job. Mm -hmm. We have been conditioned, mm -hmm. but especially by the Western, what you would call capitalist system. I mean, mm -hmm. The capitalist system is, is what it is. It's mm -hmm. neither good or bad. Mm -hmm. So it's a case of that's the system, mm -hmm. but that teaches us to all be the system wants us to be consumers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that teaches us that we will be uh, when we get this car, when we get this house, when we get this um, uh, this clothing, when we get this uh, bottle of champagne, when we mm -hmm. get this, we will be happy. Yeah. So that's an outside in. In other words, something on the outside is going to, when we get it, is going to mm. make us happy. And then nothing happens. <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then uh, yeah, but that's all marketing and promotion. And that's the way that the, the system works. Mm -hmm. um, but if we are relying on something on the outside, something or somebody on the outside to make us happy, mm -hmm. that's why that's why we can be very unhappy exactly because we are we we are then a victim or we are then like um just waiting for we're in dependent mode right we depend yeah, on we are we're, we're in we're dependent we're the victim we are waiting for the government to make the right policy or we mm -hmm. might we're waiting for that the teacher or your boss if you're if you're working for somebody mm -hmm. or you or your client if you your uh, your, your business needs uh you know high profile clients and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you're what you're always dependent on other people therefore that can become very stressful mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but if you understand that as conscious creators mm -hmm. human beings um human beings create their own their own their own reality They, they create their own results. And hearing this from a man of your caliber, if I may say so, I am like, I, I am enormously happy that I can share this with my audience because that's exactly what everything is all about. That feeling which we have when we live, when we succeed, when we understand that we are conscious human beings, that we can create the future, that we actually have everything inside of us that can help us to be whoever and whatever we want, but we are not aware of that. 
and uh you know having you as an expert saying that like this it's it's like my my whole heart is jumping right now because i understand it is all about frequency working with you and spending each moment with you was a blessing for me because you have that high level of energy and you radiate all over the place whenever you show up i want you to know this and i'm saying this in public and I know that you are on a high level of awareness. So there is much more than just practicing sports or whatever else. There is much more to do and be actually from inside out if we want to go high scale as, as high achievers want. So performance is not just about practice, right? It's not just about uh, outside things. It is more about the energy. It is more about the flow between heart and mind. It is more about if we understand who we really are and if we if we live that precise moment at that time. When I, when I watch, I don't know, for example, Novak Djokovic, uh, like five years ago, he was breaking those rackets. He was screaming. He was he went on his journey of spiritual awakening, if I may say so, and emotional intelligence. And now it's much different and uh, the results are much better. So I would like people to understand that what you just said, it is all from inside out and not outside in. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I am still witnessing that um, not so much many people really know that. And not so many people really live that way. Um, what they can do as a first step to, to actually tap into that power within them. If we go back to the beginning, the, mm -hmm. the way to get results, because I'm just in the middle of writing, I wrote, I wrote a, a book, but it, that was mm -hmm. kind of a condensed kind of tip sheet, really, the three E's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm writing a, a longer version um, of my really, which encompasses the, all of the, um, the topics that I cover in my, mm -hmm. uh, my workshops and seminars, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. just regarding how to get results. Cause it's a results business. And that's copied yeah. from the football managers mm -hmm. always say, um, it's a results business. So if, mm -hmm. if, um, if they get the sack, because they lose too many games, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that, that's just a, a little bit of a, a terminology, but mm -hmm. how to get results. So go back to the beginning, mm -hmm. the origin of our, any, any results that we get are our beliefs and thoughts because beliefs and lead to thoughts, thoughts lead to words, words lead to actions, actions mm -hmm. form our habits because we are creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. Habits form our character mm -hmm. and our character gives us our destiny and the results in three areas, our health, our career stroke wealth and our relationships. So, and everything stems from those three. Mm -hmm. this is so powerful and mm -hmm. if we we are not getting the results in any of those three areas mm -hmm. we have to go back to the beginning and say what is what question this is where we have to question our beliefs mm -hmm. most people say oh well i am the way i am and um Exactly. If, exactly. if if the government do this or my boss does this or the company does this um then it'll change but I'm just a victim of yeah, they, circum they circumstances. They yeah, yeah. But if we believe that, then that's what we are. We're, we're just going to be bobbing along and sometimes we'll be okay. Sometimes it'll be difficult. Sometimes mm. it'll be, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be happy. Um, but we can't actually say, well, I am a conscious creator. Therefore, I am sovereign, therefore I create, I choose to be at a, to vibrate at a high enough level where um, my emotional state mm -hmm. um, is, is giving me the results irrelevant of what else is happening. Mm -hmm. So yes, I can, I can, um, because there are, there are, there are, 
I, I kind of t tend to simplify it in my seminars mm -hmm. that there are what you would call um, states, emotional states that don't serve us. Mm -hmm. And there are emotional states that do. Mm -hmm. And the emotional states that don't are what I would call negative uh, and are take take our power away mm -hmm. so if we we start with um the heavy emotional states such as guilt mm -hmm. um and uh shame mm -hmm. and guilt and shame are very heavy energies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you've got apathy which is oh what's the point i can't do anything mm -hmm. then we've got um fear mm -hmm. uh, and and desire or wanting stuff which is okay mm -hmm but you've got to then get to having the stuff, not just wanting it. Mm -hmm. Then you've got guilt and then you've got pride because pride comes before a fall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, those are kind of the, um, and then you, you may have grief, which is when you lose something or somebody close to you or mm -hmm. uh, over the last year or so, some people might've lost their job or lost, lost a business. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of different things going on and that, that, They're, they're what you would call outside. That's the outside in model of the world. That's mm -hmm. conditional as mm -hmm. well. That's conditional. Your state is conditional on what, what your environment is doing and what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're always a victim of what, what, what our environment, mm -hmm. what happens around us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you, when you then have the first of all you have the courage to do the right thing for you mm -hmm. you then start into what you would call the empowering states because mm -hmm. everything that i've just mentioned is disempowering but once you get into the empowering states mm -hmm. of having the courage to do the right thing the acceptance and acceptance is a very powerful um state mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we accept that something can happen on the outside but we can choose, still choose how Our we feel and mm -hmm. how the emotional state that we're in, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. though some people may get uh, frightened about something, they might get angry about something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or you might actually initially get, feel that emotion, but you, you, because you're more aware now of all this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can then catch yourself and go, oh no, okay, yeah. that's happened. What? Right. What can be done? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In other words, we respond appropriately mm -hmm. as, as opposed to most people just react to react. what's happening mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they react almost inevitably negatively mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or it, mm -hmm. it's um, instead of instead of imposing their imposing themselves. Um, in a very courageous way, mm -hmm. without affecting other people. So this isn't this isn't kind of being look who I am because that's pride. It's having the courage to be yourself, mm -hmm. to stand in your power, and then to then we can we can go into where the magic happens. The real magic happens mm -hmm. when we get into what you would call love, joy, peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm which is very, very powerful mm -hmm. because once you got into love, joy, peace, this is where everything from um, transformation and healing, mm -hmm. that's the world where people who say healers will live in that world because mm -hmm. you have to be in that world to be able to to, tr to transform people's um, in, a, in in every way that they want health health mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wealth relationships this is so powerful I, I call it love and above <laughs> it, yeah. it sounds good it sounds it sounds very good and the transformation when it when it takes the place well, it's amazing it's amazing how life changes is it's amazing how everything transforms it's not just about being successful it's about being joyful 
in every day of your life because yeah. you are in alignment with who you really are and then somehow in that flow you really achieve high results right well that's right because you, you the next the next step which most people most people uh, will won't achieve mm -hmm. but it is achievable by a few mm -hmm. um, humans every now and again mm -hmm. is what we call enlightenment so that we become an enlightened being but there are only a few of those people about um, mm -hmm. every every so often mm -hmm. or in the world at any one time but the vast majority of us can achieve love what we call love and above mm -hmm. love joy peace um, and and make a significant uh, and make a, a significant contribution to to everything that you you are here to to achieve. Mm -hmm. So you can make um, an achievement. You've mentioned Djokovic. Mm -hmm. He's made a significant achievement with entertaining or giving so much joy to people watching him play tennis. Mm -hmm. I know that he'll do a lot of things also off the tennis court, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying the thing that everybody can see, can see. is, mm -hmm. and, and that's the same with all performers, whether they're singers, artists, mm -hmm. uh, sports people, whatever. Mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. That's, people love to see mm -hmm. them perform. Mm -hmm. And there'll be lots of people that will be doing them um, that'll be doing um, their, as long as they're, as in nature, mm -hmm. if, if, this, if you are an acorn, you have the potential to grow into the, a marvellous oak tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've all got the seed of our own greatness. So we have to give ourselves the environment exactly. and the... Um, and the belief that we can be, but most people don't even know what they are. They don't even know what they are, exactly. Most people have not got a clue, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they will, they'll just rely on everybody else telling them what they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most people don't know. Mm -hmm. So you've sometimes got the blind leading the blind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the big thing is to, to understand that your your greatness is within mm -hmm. give yourself the room and really the big the big tip i can give everybody is just let go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of thinking what should i do just do what what your heart tells you or what you love to do what feels right. Mm -hmm. What feels right, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because most people are programmed, mm -hmm. especially at an early age, to believe that the world is, is, um, is a certain way. Yeah, it's black and white. It's a system. You go to it's school, a, you finish, that's right. you start working. So, yeah, but it doesn't have to be that way, right? No, it, and... Most people kind of go on and do things when they leave school, despite the system, mm -hmm. not because of it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the people that do achieve um, and go, on, go their own path mm -hmm. do so in spite of the system, not because of it. Um, mm -hmm. There are very few people that achieve because of the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, it take it do, but it does take courage to actually step out and do, be a little bit different. It takes from... a little bit of higher awareness that you actually can do that. It takes a little bit of belief mm. that well, you are able to do that, and then you have to be brave to actually do that. <laughs> it, it, it does take belief. It does. It does. You do have to be brave. You have to have the courage, mm -hmm. but it's easier. This is why I say it's, it's always it's always going to be easier if you are in an environment mm -hmm. which is supportive, which is mm -hmm. encouraging. Mm -hmm. So get get yourself into into groups or get yourself into around people mm 
mm-hmm. that will bring the best out of you mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. keep you down exactly surround yourself with people who are better than you that's why i hang out with you <laughs> that's well, for sure i learned so much from you uh, uh like uh, i don't know if you if you are if you are even aware that in just few few sentences you are sharing the most valuable philosophy of the new age which can really help people to understand who they are and and really be joyful because they do what they love they are successful in that. So the ripple effects go all around them, the, their family, their neighborhood, whatever. And yeah, it's a little bit utopia when I when I think about that, because I, I would like everyone to know that, but at least we can reach to, you know, even even if few people are just, you know, clicked with this, if they are waking after this conversation, I am more than than happy to to you know share this message for them what people can expect from you you're writing a new book um what else of your magic we can expect in the next few months yeah just watch out for it's a results business Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. people can people can check out some some of the stuff that i'm doing on at meleves.com that's Mm -hmm. my name just Mm -hmm. m-e-l-e-v-e-s.com and um I'm also, uh, I've taken on a new project Mm -hmm. um, of a, where I'm helping ex-offenders. So Mm -hmm. I'm acting as a justice mentor for, Mm -hmm. um, in my area, Wolverhampton. So um, I I read somewhere that when they, um, when they get out, if I may say so, if their mindset doesn't change, they actually might do the same thing again. Well, that's right. That's a very important, very important job. So the big thing is we're looking to, um, to help Mm -hmm. promote, obviously help them through sports and Mm -hmm. different things and Mm -hmm. self-esteem and self and well-being and whatever. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. the big thing is to make sure that we can, get the what you would call the reoffending right down mm-hmm. um and uh, it is all in my opinion obviously mindset and emotional intelligence mm-hmm. that we need to uh, to help people with and um mm-hmm. yeah i'm looking forward to the challenge i'm sure you will get results <laughs> well yeah, yeah. we'll I'm sure you will. I know that the results, having spoken to some of the, the prison governors, they've mm-hmm. said that um, the way that the way that this will be judged, Mel, is 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 on the figures. We've got to get the reoffending rates down. So, uh, mm-hmm. and this is a, a national, it's a new initiative nationally. So, I and like I was that. I was asked to get involved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, that's so generous from you. I'm um, I'm, ple- I'm pleased to uh, to help in any way I can. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're one of my favorite people in the world because of that. You are, you are, uh, uh, you know, you're very. Um, how may I say that? Uh, um, you don't talk so much about how much you help people uh, in all areas, but we know, we know, we read here and there something. So yeah, I want to thank you in the name of everyone that your generous hearts reached out to. So. Um, tell me uh, where people can actually find you except on your website how they can reach out to you if they need uh, to work with you if they wish to work with you what's the best way yeah well you can people can people can email me Mm -hmm. which is the same as mel m-e-l at Mm meleves.com m-e-l-e-v-e-s.com um and uh I've helped. I've helped groups from um, sports, sporting groups, mm-hmm. professionals in, in from everything from football to cricket to boxing to uh, golf to mm-hmm. uh, all at, all professionals, and some of them have, you know, fought for um, national titles and mm-hmm. whatever. But it's all, um, and then various businesses whether it be 
accountants' businesses, solicitors' businesses. I people think this that, is very people important. That, people that work in, a, in a, any environment, because the big thing is, as mm-hmm. I've now agreed to help, you know, I'm helping um, some of the ex-offenders, is uh, we're all wired up the same. Mm-hmm. So we will all have the same challenges. Mm-hmm. Um and it's all about control. The big thing is controlling our emotions under pressure. But the very first thing is understanding that we are in control. Mm-hmm. It's very mm-hmm. difficult if somebody's got the victim mentality that, mm-hmm. that they dictate the outcome, mm-hmm. nobody else. Mm-hmm. Once people get it, they get it. Mm-hmm. And then they don't stop. I know. <laughs> there's, a, there's an awful, there are a lot of people that dis, when, I, when I give some lectures actually disagree with me and argue the point. And I, I, I'm fully open to that. Well, I always they, say they're that, on the low level of consciousness. They can't uh, understand. It's, no, well, yeah. I understand that, but uh, that's fine. I understand. It works for me perfectly. I mean, uh, I, I was on this journey since 2008, so this is like 14 years. And just in a couple of last years, I understood those levels of, you know, being aware of things. And it's kind of very fun now when I, when I you know, I'm stepping in my own power and creating whatever I would like to be so it's it's very very powerful we will have a little bit of fun now i'm going to put you under pressure (laughs) and ask you very quick questions and you have like 10 seconds to answer to me and you will hear this when the time is up okay yes what is your favorite book favorite book it's Mm -hmm. probably it's probably what i quote from more than anything else and Mm -hmm. this is a a seminal book by um, Dr. David Hawkins, which is called mm-hmm. Power Versus Force. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. obviously being interested in kind of science and physics and what have you, and the, and the way that we work as human beings, um, mm-hmm. this is all about the hidden determinants of human behavior. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. that was where the scale of energy or emotional scale comes from. So we have disempowering emotions and empowering emotions. And it's all about getting in the empowering emotional states. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get results. That's where we, the magic happens. The bell you just heard, it was, it was like by accident, we will will post produce this. I clicked something which I wasn't supposed to click, but that's okay. (laughs) <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's why we have post-production um what what do you like to do in your spare time if you have any of course Sp- spare time um I- what's that <laughs> spare time what's that yeah <laughs> so i like to yeah i like to uh i like to get out and see people i like to uh to look at new stuff i like mm-hmm. to research i'm i'm always researching stuff because mm-hmm. i'm the more, the more I actually learn, and the more I look into the subject of human behaviour and how we how we operate, mm-hmm. um, the more I realise there's so much, so much uh, to learn, and and the more I, the more I look into it, the the more I realise how little I do now. Mm-hmm. But I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with the fact that I don't. I only know a, a minuscule amount of of the the subject and the the and understand. And I'm comfortable with knowing that there's so much to learn that I'll never I'll never I'll never grasp. But I know far more now than I, than I have done ever. Beautiful, and it's it's very beautiful when when someone wants to learn and has that thirst for that because mm-hmm. I'm completely into that. For the end, I want to share a little anecdote with you. We were playing Sony uh, like maybe two months ago or something, and of course we were playing football. My son and I, he's like four or five years old, and he chose wolves. I don't know, maybe I even sent you the picture. I'm not sure. And then uh, he was just like you know going uh, uh, choosing the the club 
Bob and he liked the colors and he chose Wolves. And, and I said, I know someone who really played football for Wolves. And he was so persistent that I needed to show him your pictures. <laughs> Did you know that? And he was playing Sonny and he was like, you know, running. Of course, he doesn't know what he's doing. But he was he was mentioning, I'm a male, I'm male, I'm male. So that you know you have a fan <laughs> who is like for you. For you. Wonderful. And now, okay, and we will post produce this too. So yeah, maybe I sent you the picture, but it was very, very funny to see him like this. And every time we play Sonny, he's always wolves. <laughs> so did you know, and it is because of you, because he, he really doesn't know what he's doing. Thank you for being my guest. I truly, truly enjoyed, and I hope you did too. It was my absolute pleasure to have you here. Catherine, you're a very, very, very special person, and um, I recommend everybody, if, if you haven't um, learned or you haven't been in Catherine's company and you haven't um, experienced the magic that comes from Catherine, then please, you're missing out, basically. You're missing out. And uh, you, you are very, very special to me, Catherine, and I really am grateful for... Um, our time that we spent together with uh, learning so much from you and your, yeah, exp so your and your, your experiences um, because you your your journey is, is a special one we and we've all got special journeys but um, yours is, is is very special yeah thank you so much feelings are mutual and hearing that from you it's just magical thank you bye bye ciao thanks Catherine bye <laughs>